Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the first installment of Artsy Halloween Decor Haul. <laughs> so if you don't know, if you don't watch my vlogs, I want to transform my entire apartment besides the bedroom. I want to transform the entire apartment to be completely dripping in Halloween. Like, I want everything from the top to the bottom I want it to be ridiculous Halloween. So what I want to do is like do a whole transformation video showing you guys like all these key points in my apartment of transforming it from like, you know, how it normally looks to being just 100% Halloween. That's the reason for all of these haul videos. So I have, how many stores do we have? We have four. So we have Christmas tree shop and home goods we got amazon and michael's those are the four stores that i'm going to be showing you guys today i'll probably get more from those same stores as like they keep releasing stuff but this is what i got from those stores so far i'm going to start with christmas tree shop so i actually we went there like a few vlogs ago if you watch my vlogs you will have gone with me to these stores but you won't have seen what we actually bought there because I wanted to save it for like a full haul video. Oh, cute. So the first thing that I got from Christmas Tree Shop was this super cute, it's like a little soap dispenser and it is a jack-o'-lantern and it's also got a crow on the side. This is how it sits. It's so cute. I'm so excited because, I mean, I do already have like a reusable soap dispenser in our bathroom. Like I just kind of buy like Meyer's soap and refill it. So I'm excited to have a refill one that is Halloween themed, super cute. So this soap dispenser was $9.99 from Christmas Tree Shop. I'm so, I'm <laughs> so excited to get soap out of this thing. I love that it's like kind of matte, you know what I mean? It's not like super shiny. And I love the crow on the side. I'm kind of excited to like look through these bags because we bought some of this stuff like not forever ago, but I, I kind of like forgot what we got. So it's kind of like, ooh, almost yeah. like gifts for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween. Thanks. <laughs> so this is also from Christmas Tree Shop and it's like a little wooden, I don't know, just like a little wooden slab. And then you have these black jack-o'-lanterns that are like little votive. You put little tea lights inside and they're like little candle holders for tea lights. So they have three different faces. We got this guy. He's kind of derpy. The middle guy is my favorite. I love him. And then this guy. On the end, this was $11.99. Stop. This is going to be so cute. So I thought this would be super cute because we have like a really long kind of, I don't know what kind of table that is. Oh. <laughs> I love the price. $11.99. I feel like Christmas tree shop. <laughs> what? <laughs> Seems like somebody from an ad. That's true, though. Like and you know what else I love? The price. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, cuties. Remember these oh, guys? Yeah. So they had these. Like, okay, I my style or one of my styles of Halloween decor is like retro, creepy slash possibly haunted. Like the item is possibly cursed. You know what I mean? Like the face is a little like, the heck? That's what I feel like this pumpkin is kind of displaying. So they had these like little blocks. They're literally just like a piece of wood with these little Halloween prints on them. I thought this one was really weird, really cute. Just says, what does it say? Oh, it literally says Halloween is calling. So this was $1.99. I love it. 
It's super cute. And then I also got this one because, again, the jack-o'-lantern's face is a little weird. He's a li There's, like, something slightly off about him. He's a little cursed. Again, this was $1.99. I thought these were super cute. They had other ones, but then they got a little too cutesy for my style. So these two, I thought, went together, but also they were kind of like creepy. This is the last thing from Christmas Tree Shop. So we got... So great. <laughs> it's a freaking... It's like, I don't know, one of these kind of things. So you like display it like this. And it's an owl... But he's just, he's seen some stuff. But he's also a gentleman for both times. Yeah, you know? for sure, for sure. So it's kind of like this framed thing, this framed situation. The owl is raised a bit. It's all wood. And then I think it says trick or treat. And I, I don't know. I thought it was kind of creepy and weird. So this was $5.99. And they, I think they had other ones. But we liked this owl guy the best. Again, I don't know. It looks weathered. It's kind of retro-y and weird. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So that is what we got at Christmas tree shop so far. I definitely want to go back. So we're going to move on to, I guess, home goods. Ooh, we can finally put these out. I've been waiting. Like everything is still in their bags, still has tags on. Once I bought it, I put it in the corner of my apartment and it was, I was like, I can't even look at these things because if I do, I'm going to take them out, rip the tag off and start pouring juice inside of these cups. So I found this set of four glass cups and they are like weird looking skulls. They are so cool. I think it says recycled glass on it. But it's a set of four. But these were $7.99 for the set. Shut up. Oh, I love it. Is this not like... <laughs> Friggin' stop! I love them. So, more home goods. Uh, Sean convinced me to get this and I'm so happy that you did. So it is this jack-o'-lantern and it's metal. And I don't know if it's like real copper or anything, but it's definitely metal and it's like rose gold on the inside and then like a yellow gold on the outside. So when you're looking at it like this, it's actually really cool to see the rose gold like through the face. And it is so cute. So it's like 
one of these and it's so nice yeah like the quality is so freaking like what so this was 7.99 and then they had a really small one that like could fit inside of this one and then they had a really big one that this one could fit inside of. I'm so freaking glad that we got it. So I'm gonna squeeze in a little, like two things from HomeSense. I figure like HomeSense, home goods, kind of the same thing, right? So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this giant, like, is this as big as my skull? No, it's bigger. I got this giant skull glass thing. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. It's almost like there's a hole in the bottom but it's totally closed off everywhere else. So, but I saw it and I immediately thought, okay, I could buy, you know, fake candle kind of thing and then put that inside and it would like flicker and look really cool with the glass. So that's why I got this, but it is such a cool piece. Even if you don't put a candle underneath it, it's so cool to look at. So I love this thing. This was $13.99. I'm pretty sure $12.99. Might have been $12.99. Yeah. It, I, what? I thought it was going to be like $50 or something. I got one of these little fake, you know, votive candle things. And this one I got from Michael's. And it does, it like alternates through the rainbow basically, like different colors. I'm going to insert a clip of what it looks like at night. It's so pretty and perfect. It's exactly what I wanted like for this skull. The other thing that I got from HomeSense was this set of, they're like kind of tiny cups, but I thought that they were so cute in this like little stand. So they kind of like stack on top of each other and there are four of them. So they have this print on them that is like skull and crossbones. And then on the inside, it's like this bright orange color. Sean uses these as like his coffee cup. I consider them kind of like an espresso cup, yeah. you know, like a little, like real quick, but they're so cute. I, w I do want to get a set of, and I've been looking and nobody really has them yet, but they're basically like this, but they're like actual full sized mugs as like a four set that kind of stack on top of each other like this. So I kind of love the idea of having these little ones and then also next to it having a set of bigger ones. How much are those? Fourteen ninety nine. I think these were. I think it's on the bottom. Really? These were seven ninety nine. You went. You were right. I can't believe that. Well, these were seven ninety nine. How cool! I love that. All right, so we're gonna move on to Amazon. So I feel like Amazon. I'm gonna consider if I need something cheap and quick, kind of thing. But also, they do kind of have some cool stuff. So, the first thing that I have here is this set of two light bulbs. And they're supposed to kind of light up and look like flames. I'm going to insert a clip of when we first screwed these into our light that I kind of want to, what I bought them for. Those are amazing. They actually look like flames. Yeah, dude, they're brightest too. Wow, they look like flames. I honestly didn't, I mean, I thought it was gonna be cool looking. 
but I didn't think it was gonna actually like <laughs> look like flames. Dude, what's crazy is that looks like a, a campfire. You know what I mean? Yeah, that doesn't look like, like a, a candle. flickering little wick. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, these are gonna be amazing. And I just like, I think that this is the perfect vibe for like a light for Halloween, like flame lights, like candle, like spooky. You know, come on, it was perfect. So they were $14.99. Okay, so the next thing that I got from Amazon that I'm not really sure of, because when we put the lights up, I did pull these out because I bought these for like the light and they're supposed to be Halloween lampshades. There are two of them in here, which is exactly what I needed. Like I said, it's supposed to be a lampshade and it's like this big. But when I pulled it out earlier, I noticed these holes at the top. And so I didn't realize that it actually came with this ribbon. So I think what you're supposed to do is loop this through the holes at the top and then tie it and like cinch it around your light bulb. I mean, honestly, like when I was trying to put it around the light that I want to put it around, it was so much fabric. So I am thinking of maybe cutting this to make it look good. So these lampshade things were $10.99. I mean, the light bulb is plastic. It's That's not true. like, it, you know, it, and it, I don't think it gets hot. So these are actually really cool. They turned out cool. Okay, I was going to make fun of them, but they're cool. All right, so the next thing that I got from Amazon was this pack of bats and i'm sure you guys like i think literally everybody does this um but it's just like a pack of little i think they're just like paper bats i'll insert a picture of the listing to show you guys what it's supposed to look like but you can like stick these to your wall you'll be able to like bend the wings so that it looks a little more 3d so i was thinking because i have like this huge slanted wall here i was thinking of having like a trail of bats come from like the corner like behind the couch and like go up the slanted wall. So these like little rectangle bits here, I think you'll stick them to the back of the bats. And then you can stick them to your wall. So these were $5.99. Amazing. Last thing that I got from Amazon was, <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be for my costume or not. It possibly will be, but I kind of got this as like a coffee table kind of book, like just a cool piece to put on the coffee table and have it be like Halloween themed. The handbook for the recently deceased. So this is supposed to be a book from Beetlejuice. And I just like, look how cool it is. It is paperback. It's not like, you know, it's not like leather or anything. So cool. And what I think is really cool. And I, I saw a lot of people in the reviews not being very happy with this. So the first few pages are supposed to, they tried really hard, I guess, to make it look like and sound like, you know, what they read in the movie. But then after the first like two, one or two pages, it's a journal. I thought that was cool. Yeah. just have it be a cool book to put on your table or if you're maybe going as somebody or dressing up as somebody from Beetlejuice maybe this is the perfect thing to have as like a prop so this was $7.99 right super cool I love that it's a journal so that is what I got from Amazon the last store that we're going to talk about I got a few things from Michael's craft store actually I have a couple right here look at these adorable tiny pumpkins this one is mostly black and then it has orange stars and then the stem of the pumpkin is orange and I thought that this was adorable. This was $4.99 and then along with that I thought this was cute too. 
So this is another pumpkin and most of it is orange and then it's got like black stripes going around the sides and then the stem is also black. This one was also $4.99 and I thought... I thought that they would look cute together and kind of like bounce colors off of each other, right? The last thing that I'm gonna show you guys in this video is like my favorite thing. I'm so excited. It was my whole reason for going to Michael's. I mean, I know Michael's for me has always had really cool like decor stuff, so I did wanna hit Michael's, but I saw this on Instagram and I was like, oh my God, if my Michael's has this, I'm going to buy it. It is so freaking cute. <laughs> Look how cute he is! <laughs> so it's this black cat. He is sassy as hell. Look at him. I love him so much. Look at his sassy eyes. Look at him! Is he not the cutest? Look at his ears. Look at his freaking coat and his pants. Shoesies. And then he's standing on this little pedestal that is orange and has black bats on it. He is so freaking sassy. And adorable has his hands on his hips little look at the look at the fangs look at the, fangs. Look at the little mew fangs he actually how tall do you think he is i was just thinking that maybe uh like a foot and a half inside of his head is actually hollow so it it does say that like you know don't put food in there like salsa or any kind of dips or whatever but i was thinking that i could just put like halloween candy in his head and he could be a super super cute like candy holder but even if I don't do that like if you look at him straight on you can't even tell he has you know like a hole up here I loved him so he was $49.99 <laughs> which when I saw the price I did hesitate because I think that that is expensive but I don't know I fell in love with him yeah the base of him is like pretty good it's like it's pretty hard I don't know what it is it is definitely heavy so like from his neck all the way down to the base is very heavy and like sturdy and it's pretty nice and then the head is sort of lighter so I don't know if that sound helps you it helps me to hear the sounds um, but it almost sounds like it's sort of and it also feels sort of I don't know if this is gonna turn you guys off but sort of paper mache kind of like the base is heavy so I'm hoping that since he's not top heavy maybe that's why they did that I love him so much don't ever talk to me and my son again <laughs> <laughs> this is the first installment of what do we call it the artsy Halloween home decor series so there's definitely gonna be more videos for this where I'm gonna update you guys and show you what else I got as I keep stocking up for the finale of the apartment transformation to Halloween. So I will see you guys in the next installment of Artsy ha Halloween Home Decor. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram and literally everywhere else. It is at Artsy Madwoman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye.